welcome to the Your Soul Matters weekly broadcast. The Your Soul Matters broadcast is the ministry of the House of Deliverance Church. It is my hope that this broadcast and the message that you're about to hear will inspire you, encourage you, and convince you that your soul truly does matter. It matters to God, it matters to us, and we hope it matters to you. Without further ado, let's welcome our speaker that will be delivering the word, Minister Courtney Johnson. Good morning. We, were, we are going to speak on rest unto your soul. I will be coming from Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. There are three things that I like to speak with you all about this morning. One, the invitation for rest, who gives the rest, and how to get the rest. Are you experiencing heavy burdens, loads, difficulty in life? Then you are a candidate for this rest. Any of these sound familiar? Are you dealing with money problems? Maybe feeling unloved, friendless, rejected, depressed, isolated? Is the pandemic a cause of your heavy burdens? If any of these are true for you, then again, you are a candidate for this rest. This invitation comes to us from Jesus. We will discuss who Jesus is. He is the one who is the burden, or the burden lifter. He lifts our heads. He is our friend when we are friendless. He is so much to us and so much more. He is the one who died for your sins and removed the penalty of sin. For we know that the wages of sin is death. So no longer do we have to die for our sins because Jesus did that for all mankind. Are you experiencing inhumane treatment, maybe on your job, maybe in life, wherever it may be? Then Jesus will show you the love that you so desire and that you need. Depression is a big one going on today. So many people are depressed for various reasons. Depression may be sprung about from maybe divorce, financial issues, maybe feeling like no one understands or no one cares. Jesus cares, he understands and he knows. He wants to be the answer for you for whatever the cause is in your life. Jesus, again, the one who died for your sins, that you may be saved, that you may be relieved from this, these things that cause heaviness, these things that cause burdens in your life. He wants you to come unto him, to receive from him the things that you need for life. In doing so, life takes on a different meaning and you will then have a purpose in life. Jesus loves us, he cares for us, he's concerned about everything that goes on in our lives, every aspect of our lives. He cares not just about our souls, for we know that our soul does matter, but he cares about our mindset. He cares about the things that troubles us, the things that keep us awake at night, the things that cause us stress, things that cause us worry and doubt. Jesus wants to be the one to lift those burdens off from you. He wants to be the one that removes the laden of sin from off of your life. He wants to be the one that lifts your burden. He wants to rescue you. He doesn't want you to stay in your sins. He doesn't want you to stay in your discomfort. He doesn't want you to continue to live life the way that you have been living. He wants you to accept him, to receive him, to come to him as the word says. How we get this rest, we have to come. We have to put forth the effort to do the things that are necessary to bring about change in our lives. We know now how the rest comes about, who it comes from, how we get it is we have to put forth effort, whether it's a call, whether it's being baptized, once, whether it's receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, whatever it may be, Jesus wants you to come. There's various avenues that you may come by, but allow him to pull at your heartstrings, to be the answer for you, 
to allow you to receive the relief and the release from life that you need. A personal testimony of mine, when I first came unto God, I was very doubtful. I was very full of um, worry. I didn't, I believe that God can do whatever it is he wants to do, but I didn't believe he wanted to do it for me. Why would he want it to, uh, to do it for me? There were things in my life that I knew that I was doing that were wrong, and I didn't think that he would be willing to help me because I knew that it was wrong. There was rejection that I dealt with and abandonment, isolation. There were periods of friendlessness. There were periods of uh, depression. And Jesus was inviting me. I didn't believe he could do it for me, but I did believe he can do it. So one day I finally decided, well, I'm just gonna give it my all. Now I know it wasn't me that brought about that decision. It was Jesus because he drew me, he was calling me, he was standing at the door of my heart and asking me to come. And I finally took him up on the offer. I came to the church in 2001. And when I came, I knew I wanted to be baptized. I didn't wanna die in my sins. I didn't wanna die for my sins. So I understood that he had already done that for me. So now that I knew that, the next step for me was to accept what it is that he had for me, forgiveness, for being a sinner, at my core being a sinner. In humanity, we are wrapped in sin. Our flesh desires to sin, it seeks to sin, it takes joy in sinning, but our spirit is crying out for our savior. Our spirit is crying out to have a closeness with God, to know him. We want to know our creator and we want to know him in an intimate way, not just on the surface. So I knew there was this war going on in me, but I didn't know how to end the war, but I did come. I was invited and I came. When I came that Sunday, I was baptized. And when I, once I came out of the water, I felt so new, so relieved, so forgiven, so loved. I didn't feel the heaviness of depression. I no longer felt rejected. I felt like God was standing right there with his arms wrapped around me. I felt everything that I had been longing for in life all happened at once. It was so overwhelming, but it was beautiful at the same time. So because I know that this was my experience, I know that God has no respecter of person, meaning he's not just doing it for me. He will do it for you and whosoever else will come and do what it is that he's asking of you to do. Give yourself the second chance that you desire. Don't let your life be in the balance. Don't linger. Don't teeter-totter with death, but accept life that Jesus wants to give us, the rest from our heavy uh, burdens and our sins. So I was baptized and then I felt, you know, when you get something good, you want something else. You want it more. And so I kept coming to church and then they were talking to me about being filled with the Holy Ghost and I knew I wanted that. So it wasn't much longer after that that I received the gift of the Holy Ghost. I was baptized in the Holy Ghost and with fire. And I stand here today before you knowing where you have been, knowing where you are, feeling what you have felt. But I tell you, there is a redeemer. He does deliver. He does save. He does care. He is our rescuer. He will be everything that we are in need of. So again, the recap, the reason you are in need of rest is because you need to release the heaviness that life has put upon you. You need to release the things that you can't change in your own life. Only the Savior can do that, and his name is Jesus. The reason he is the only one that can do it is because he died just to give you rest. He died just to give you salvation, just to give you a second chance, just so you can know him in an intimate and close way. How do you receive this rest? Again, come. Come to God. Allow him to be everything that you need him to be. Let him change your life from the inside out. Let him give you purpose and a second chance, a newness of life. Receive the love that you are in need of. Receive the help that you need. Let him lift your head. Let him lift the burdens off of you, the heaviness off of you, the things you can't change for yourself. Let him change them for you. Again, 
again. Today's topic was about rest for your soul. The scripture was found in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I, being Jesus, will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God bless you is my prayer in Jesus' name. I truly hope the word you just heard was a blessing to your soul. It surely was one of mine. If you are looking to learn more about God, please come visit us. If you would like more information, please go to our website at hodchurch.com. If you are in need of someone to talk to or would like to receive prayer, please call 1-800-741-SOUL or 1-800-741-7685. We hope to see you next week at the same time for another inspired message and messenger. God bless you. And don't forget, your soul does matter.